those in my church. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> I have a question today. Um, on Uplift One on One today. My question is, how can a sick person go into the house of God and get healed? The, the people that's already inside the church are sick. How can a sick person go into the house of God and get healed? That the people that's already in church are sick. See, I believe that most of our churches has forgotten her purpose. The churches, they really have forgotten their purpose. There's too much judging going on inside the church these days. You have people that they come to church, they come just as they are. Now, that's what God says. He, he will take you just as you are. But nowadays it's all about what you wear, how much money you got, what kind of hairstyle you got. And if a person, a broken hearted person, a broken spirit person comes into church, and the usher starts getting on to this person about what they have on. The spirit already broken. I mean, you just literally just made them walk out the door and didn't want to come back to church anymore. Okay, so First Samuel sixteen and six. First Samuel sixteen and seven <laughs> says, "Man looks on the outward." appearance but God looks on the inside the heart so if a person want to change it doesn't happen automatically it doesn't happen overnight and if a person wants to change they need our help the men and women of God and the church members they need our help so when they come inside the church they are already not feeling comfortable but if a young woman comes to church and her skirt too short, don't look at, don't give, you know how they give that look. You know, they already feel uncomfortable when they're there. But our job is to make them feel like they are wanted. And so, yeah, this skirt might be too short. But hey, we know how to handle that, don't we? We just get a, a little sheet, we cover their legs up. That's it. But you don't have to chastise them. You don't have to bash them. You don't have to talk about them while they're in church trying to keep themselves right. So, if you got more sick people inside the church and less people on the outside, how is that going to work? How is the church going to help anybody be the same? Jesus said, Yet while you were in sin, I died for you. So, if Jesus died for us, knowing that we didn't even deserve it, why are we over here beating down and breaking down people because of a certain way they are when they come into the church? The church is to take on the unbelievers, okay? They are supposed to help them, teach them and, and about salvation, about how to get saved, about love. Because when Jesus came down here, this is what he taught. He talked about love. He talked about salvation, how to be saved, how to act. The church doors should be open to anybody. Okay? Anybody. Race, color, lifestyle. It, it should be open to anybody. The church should not close their doors to people that want to change, people that, that want to come in. The church is like the hospital, okay? They come in, they sit, they get taught, they get fed, they grow, they mature, and all their pain and stuff, they learn how to deal with it. They get delivered from it. But how can we get delivered from stuff if the people inside the church, church people, not saved people, church people are always in people's face, judging and talking about somebody? So what I'm saying is, let the people get in first, okay? Let them get in. And then, if you ain't taught how to witness, then don't witness, okay? Because it's certain ways you got to witness the people. It's certain ways you step to people about Jesus. You just can't pound Jesus on somebody. Oh, you going to hell and all this stuff like that. Mm-mm. No. So, my question for you is, 
when you see a non-believer and they come into the church, do you make them feel Download welcome? At Gospel do you make com. them feel like they want to come back to your church? Do you make them feel like they're loved? Do you smile? Do you hug them? Do you shake their hand? Or do you turn your nose up to them just because they don't look like you and they don't act like you or they don't come from the same background you come from? No, the church has forgotten its purpose. The church purpose is to transform the unbelievers into believers win the soul for Christ. So, what I'm saying is, the church need to go back and look at what their purpose is. Uplift 101.